Hey everyone, so my name is Aya. Um, I'm here just starting my YouTube channel, but I've been compelled to start it today on 11-11. And simply because I've been experiencing what they call black sheep syndrome or scapegoat syndrome or whatever within your family. So this is to all, anybody who definitely found this video, came across this video, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you are a black sheep. You are the black sheep of your family. You are the scapegoat of your family, whatever. They typically are the same person. So, but the black sheep, the black sheep is basically the individual in the family that's a little bit odd, you know, to the family standards and a little bit off. Um, they tend to do things their own way. They tend to dance to the beat of their own drum. They're nine out of 10 times on the spiritual path. Um, and their family really thinks they're batshit crazy um, with the stuff they, that they do. I'm probably 100% sure of that. That your family thinks you're batshit crazy. They think you're like this big conspiracy theorist, a uh, universal freak. Um, and you know, and they kind of, it's like, I'm not saying that they, they bash you for it, but they definitely let it be known that they don't agree with what, what you're saying. And, um, for all of those that feel that way, I just want to let you know that you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not a weirdo. You're not none of that. You're just chosen. You have been chosen by whatever you want to call it, the universe, by God, by the powers that be, by the most high, whatever you want to call it, because it's all the same energy, but whatever you want to call it, however you choose to identify with that energy is, is solely up to you. But I am completely sure that you have been chosen and you have been called to do things that are greater than what your family can understand. And so some of the struggles that you deal with as a black sheep, you deal with being criticized, you deal with being judged. Um, you definitely deal with feeling isolated, alone. Um, it could be it could be a numerous amount of things. It could be that they don't agree with what you want to do with your life. It could be that they don't agree with your religious or spiritual beliefs. It could be that um, your energy just doesn't resonate with their energy. Because what you have to realize is that we are so deep into this matrix. Um, well, not us black sheep and scapegoats, whatever. Not not the black sheep of the family. The black sheep is not deep into the matrix. The black sheep may have at one point been deep into the matrix. But they have come to an awakening. And once they come to that awakening, it's like they're trying to shake everybody and wake everybody up. They're like hold on, wait, you don't see this going on over here and you don't understand, like, why, you don't, you don't see why, why is it always cloudy on a full moon? Or why is it that there's chemtrails, you know, the clouds, look at these clouds, these aren't the same type of clouds. And, you know, like, we, we start just going off into, like, our own, like, tangent of, like, wake up, I know you see what I see, I know you see what I see, you have to see it. But they're not meant to, okay? And even if they do, they're not you, okay? They're not you. They're not the black sheep. They're not... Like, they still have a calculated life that they have to follow, okay? Um, and they don't want to subscribe to the things that you subscribe to. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? That just should let you know that you are part of the one-third and they are part of the two-thirds. Now, let me explain that. So the one third or the 144,000 or the chosen people, okay? It's really not even 144,000. I mean, honestly, like the number varies. It is what it is. We don't know if it's going to be 144,000 or 2 million. You know what I'm saying? Like we have no idea. But we know there's, it, it's broken up into thirds. Um, everything is, is a matter of three. But we'll get into that on another day, okay? Right now we're just talking about the black sheep. So... The black sheep is the one-third of the population and 
they they have been given the call okay so when I say given the call like they they have chosen to be on a spiritual path you know they 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 see the synchronicities that are occurring in their lives they see the different um patterns it could be that you're seeing numbers it could be that you're seeing 11 11 2 2 2 3 3 3 4 4 4 um it could be that you are just noticing like you're driving down the street and you notice glitches in the matrix you you could be driving down the street and you see three 2018 red toyota camrys all with the same license plate and like one guy driving you know like it's it's like you see the glitches okay like you, you you're awakened you see the glitches in the matrix you know what's going on and you're just not here for this bullshit anymore i'm sorry excuse me but really so um there's nothing wrong with you first of all let me start by saying that there's absolutely nothing wrong with you you're chosen you are chosen you're here to help to help guide in this new frequency that we're going to be experiencing come 2020 um so for those of you who aren't truly familiar with what's going to be happening okay so 2020 is the original 2012 okay the gregorian calendar is technically ahead of what the real calendar is okay so they're trying to quickly advance the world um which is causing all this turmoil and everything like that and they and technically so 2020 is when the veil is is the veil is unlifted so that's where the term like 2020 vision comes in and it comes into play and all that other stuff but we're not even going to get into the deep metaphysical uh, we're not going to go that far okay so just know that in 2020 the veil is going to be unlifted and 2020 vision you're going to be able to see clearly you will be able to see clearly the wool that they put over your eyes okay so to speak so for all my black sheep you have already been noticing this like you you're way ahead of this like you know that something is coming you know that something is going on you know this this ish ain't right okay um you know for a fact that there's something that you're called to do whether you know exactly what that thing is or not you know you're called to do something you know you're here for a greater purpose you know you're here to wake people up but it may not be necessarily meant for you to wake up your family and when i say that i mean that in the most loving way possible i know that you love your family i know that you that those these are the people that you've known since birth and i know that you could be attached but it's time to detach it is time to detach and you have to know that you have a bigger spiritual family out there waiting for you okay and they will resonate with you and they will understand you know your mind your spirit they will understand your energy you won't have to try to over explain yourself because they'll just get it this is your spiritual family and so right now it's the time for all the black sheep all the people who have been called all the people who have been chosen to find each other okay to find your tribe you it's time for us to find our tribes and to become a greater force a greater energy okay um with the black sheep going back to the black sheep i know that you feel alone i know that you feel like you don't fit in with your family and that's that's so that's so okay and i mean this in the nicest freaking possible in the nice way freaking possible okay like f them okay f your family f them f them f them f them they do not have your best interest at heart they do not have your best interest at heart you were born into this universe with the obstacle of knowing you knew when you came into this unit into this world that your family was going to be an obstacle in your life you chose that okay and you knew that in order for you to fully wake up you had to go against the grain okay and that was your challenge like you may have been so dependent on your family you may have been so um yeah i'm just gonna say dependent because that's the best word i can use 
you may have been so dependent on your family where maybe you know like you don't have a place to live okay or maybe you work with your family like I can tell you my situation so this is this this is what even called me to make this video all right hold on one second I got a notification all right so this is what called me to make this video <sighs> I've been working with my family and, and it's not even really working I have been helping my cousin um who just had a baby about two years ago I've been helping her watch her watch my I call her my nephew because I she's like a sister to me that's you know how we grew up okay so I've been watching my nephew or my cousin or whatever and I've been watching him for about like over a year now um and she's been trying to get they well they are getting their company off the ground they have this this big like Forbes whatever company and they've been getting their company off the ground so I've been just a babysitter nanny whatever watching him in the house you know making sure he eats just basically watching like he was my child okay and they don't pay me anything like they pay me but they don't pay me anything um but granted I do I do stay with them and everything like that so I guess that's like compensation for what they really should be paying me like that but they don't really pay me anything um and so I've took it upon myself to get another opportunity um paying more you know I won't be able to watch him um etc etc and the thing is like I've talked to my aunt because my aunt and my cousin who I call my sister are in a business together so I talked to my aunt about it about um like how I was feeling I'm like I don't have enough money to really do what I want to do you know like I've saved up um like x amount of money but it's still not it's still not enough like i'm trying to move like i'm trying to get the hell away okay um i'm trying to get the complete f away from my family and it's nothing against them it's just that i cannot be in that type of environment so i talked to her and i'm like you know i'm trying i'm what i'm getting with from you all you know i'm helping out because i love him because i truly 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 love his name is austin like i love him to pieces okay and um like, I just wanted to help and make sure he was okay. So I told her I, I have to find another opportunity because I'm not making enough, you know? Um, not for what I'm trying to do, where I want to go, what I need to do. Like, I have to take care of myself regardless if you're chosen, if you're a black sheep, if you, you're woke, if you're whatever. You still have to dip, dipple and dabble with the beasts in the matrix to get to do commerce with them, to get the funds to get the money to whatever okay so I get it like you have to handle your business regardless okay um so that's what I was going to do so I, I found an opportunity whatever whatever went on an interview all of that good stuff so when I was telling her about it it's like her whole energy just changed like it was like a it was like oh well you're only going to be making x amount of this da 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 but mind you, it's still more than what they're paying me. So she's like, oh, you're only going to be making X amount of this. Oh, and I don't think you need to do that. And blah, 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 blah. Like she just kept going on. Like her energy just got really negative and negative. And I was real. I'm like, what in the world? Like, why do I feel like you're not happy? Like you're the same person who always tells me, oh, Taylor, um, go do what you got to do. You know, because that's my government name, Taylor. I go by Aya though. So go, go do what you got to do um do what's best for you etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's like with the black sheep of the family it's like they'll tell you that stuff like they'll tell you to do what's best for you they'll tell you that they want the best for you they'll tell you all of these things but they only want you to do what's best for you to the extent of it still serving them if that makes sense okay um they don't ever want to see you go out on your own and do your own thing and be successful or anything like that because it's something inside of them like maybe they didn't completely follow their dream maybe they wanted to be an astronaut maybe they wanted to be a doctor maybe they wanted to be an architect I don't know but they didn't completely follow their dream so to see you go do what it is that you want to do to be happy to fulfill yourself 
it it pains them it pains them inside and they will never let you know that they will never tell you they will never show you they will never do they will never they will they will smile through their freaking teeth and tell you how happy they are for you and how much they want for you and how you know how they support you but really you like a black sheep we're empathetic like we are empaths okay we can feel that like we feel that energy we know you don't really mean this shit that you're saying okay we know that like so what i say that to say like don't allow your family to discourage you don't allow anyone who you call family because your family could be friends whoever don't allow anybody to discourage you because with the black sheep you have a light inside of you and that light may have been dimmed by conditioning family conditioning um environmental conditioning you know um work conditioning whatever it may have been dimmed but now is the time that you're about to start getting your light back and they don't want that regardless of what you think they don't want that and it's not because it's something inside of them it's not really them it's something inside of them that's not really them you could probably even notice like as you've gotten older that that their eyes have changed now that's a big that is a huge 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 um red flag if you're looking into your family's eyes and you notice that like something isn't right like you can feel it chosen ones we can feel this we know like we know when when something isn't right we can see it in your eyes so if you can look into your family member or friend's eyes and you can see it just looks dark it looks dark like it just looks black like like they're a shell it's not them so don't take it don't take it to heart do not take it to heart know that this is a greater war than what your human body can even realize okay this is a spiritual war this is deeper than what you think okay this is like this is liter this is literally like a war of souls literally and a lot of people out here are not even people these are just shells with who are possessed and i'm not gonna say like oh my god they're possessed demon like you know like um exorcist exorcist or whatever but shit like that's what these people are like it's not to the point where they're flipping their heads and turning you know it's not all animated like the exorcist but they are shells they're not their true selves okay they're not they're not alive on the inside their light is gone their solar plexus is gone they're feeding off of yours so just know that being a black sheep being the outcast being the scapegoat being chosen all of that is synonymous all of it is one all of it's the same thing okay it is the same thing and you're going to be getting attacked by all types of people that you thought were there for you or had your best interest or people that you love boyfriends girlfriends mothers fathers brothers sisters aunts uncles cousins co-workers bosses you are going to be getting all types of bullshit thrown your way it's a spiritual warfare it's deeper than what you know okay so just being the black sheep alone is going to be it's going to be it's going to be very difficult it's going to be very extremely difficult it's going to be something that mm, excuse me but it's going to be something that like you're gonna feel you're gonna feel like you're gonna feel like you're by yourself you're gonna feel like you're by yourself but you're not family like trust me you are not by yourself you're not by yourself you have 
tons of people out here who are just like you who are going through the same thing and as long as you stick to your true to your uh, true authentic self as long as you continue to be your true authentic self as long as you take the risks and go outside of your comfort zone go outside of your family go outside of what you know and do some do something different to meet new people you will find your tribe i promise you i promise you but don't allow don't allow your family to discourage you don't allow them to undermine you don't allow them to minimize anything that you feel or minimize anything that you want to do with yourself if you have a dream to go out and be a freaking farmer in Ethiopia like I like like I don't care what it is that you want to do if you want to be like a huge speaker and like you think that you can help raise the vibrate like most of the black sheep like they want to like they're here for raising the vibration like and we want to do things that help with raising the vibration so if you want to go out and be a speaker because you feel like you can reach a whole bunch of people and you can raise the vibration of of, of of the planet that's what our goal that's what we're here for we are here to raise the vibration of the planet so however you need to do that go ahead and do it but i do know one thing that you need to get far the hell away from any family members that you know make you feel minimized if you feel minimized if you feel um mocked if you feel unappreciated if you feel like you know gaslighted or somebody who's like trying to to make you believe something that it's not you know um if you feel any of these things like if you feel because what you feel you're an empath and people like to try to knock feelings that's what society is trying to do right now like trying to knock your feelings like that's one thing that you also will have to watch out your your um your family if you're the black sheep your family will try to knock your feelings they will try to be like okay that's what you feel but that's not what it is you know what i'm saying and don't ever allow anybody to tell you that shit like do not ever allow anyone to tell you that shit i feel this because i know it's a reason that i feel this it's a reason that i feel this i would not feel this for no reason People like to make you feel like you have mental disorders. Like they will try to classify you. They will try to put you in all types. Like, okay, my cousin is a classic, like, classifier. That's all she does. Like, if somebody just moves the wrong way or if they have a mood like this one time and then a mood like this the next time, they're bipolar. You know, it's like they're like that. They're very extremely judgmental, extremely judgmental, extremely black and white, extremely always trying to put something in a box. It's either this or that or is it like, no, like they don't they don't dwell in the land of color. OK, and they don't understand like they, they can't understand like why it is that you have the light that you have. So they would do anything to diminish it, anything to discourage you, anything. And please do not allow that to happen, Black Sheep. Please keep sticking for. Please keep moving forward. Please keep doing what you have to do. Do not allow anyone to discourage you. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. Okay? Your feelings are valid. What you feel is valid. Okay? You are valid. You are important. You are here to help raise the vibration of the planet. Come 2020, you will see more of the veils being unlifted. I'm sorry, more of the veils being lift, being lifted, so unveiled. And you will see with 2020 vision. You will see with clear vision. 2020 vision, I'm trying to tell you. 2020 vision. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. These are for my chosen. These are for my chosen people, Okay. Don't allow your narcissistic um, family to downplay how you feel, to make you feel like you're not worthy. And let me tell you another thing. So this is another thing that I noticed as a black sheep in my family because I am the one, I'm the one who 
who's like, I'm very spiritual. I'm very outspoken about my spirituality. Um, I grew up in Christianity, you know, of course. And I'm sure nine out of ten times, black sheep, you've grew, you've grown up in a religion. That your family's extremely religious. And, like, you showing up with your head wraps on. Or, like, you showing up with your talking about third eyes and, like different dimensions like they're looking at you like what the hell is wrong with you this girl or this boy or this man or this woman is bat shit effing crazy okay so nine out of ten times you do have either a really religious family or a completely atheistic family it's extremes like it's it's complete extremes and um just know back to what i was saying. okay so back to what i was saying like these are things that will happen. Okay, so dealing with toxic, narcissistic family members, they feel you owe them something. Okay, so this is something that occurs. Like my cousin is a is a fucking prime. Not uh, I'm sorry, I was I was not trying to say the f word, but whatever. We're grown, eighteen and over. Disclaimer: My cousin is a pure narcissist okay um she will call all these other people narcissists and classify all these other people with all these disorders and all this other stuff but her mom is a narcissist and she got it from her mom my aunt um so basically it's like i'll walk into the room or walk wherever and like i'm the one who's expected to speak okay i'm always the one who's expected to speak if I don't speak, it's like, oh, well, hello to you too. But I can't, but y'all can walk into a room and not speak, but I don't say the same thing to you. Why is it that I have to acknowledge your presence? Why do you feel you're so important and I'm not as important to you where I have to acknowledge you, but you don't have to acknowledge me? Like, and they feel like they, they're they doing you a favor in, in a sense. Like, they feel like, you know you probably could be dependent on them as i was or as i am or whatever like you you could you could be dependent on them and that's the biggest downfall like that's the thing that you actually need to get away from and that's what i'm trying to do right now you need to move far away from your family like i don't care how hard it will be like don't go out with just like a dollar in your pocket like save up some money and move as far away as you possibly can and reparent yourself venture out on your own okay get as far as away as you possibly can sorry i had to uh my nose is stuffy but get as far as away as you possibly can venture out on your own do something that you love to do follow your passion follow your dream nine out of ten times you're very creative you're either an artist singer songer singer um songwriter dancer um you could be like into you could be a grower you know you could be into nature and you could be very good with your hands and growing um crops you could be a designer like you're 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 creative the thing what your what your niche is is not a normal niche it's not like you can just go and get a job in some fortune 500 company and be happy you know or be successful because you won't fit in you don't talk that talk that all these other people talk okay and that is perfectly fine because there are tons of us out there like that and this world is meant to to suppress the creative individual it's meant to suppress our creativity because it doesn't it doesn't add to their system but that's why we're here to break the system we are here okay so it's time to do what you have to do. It's time to move far away. Don't allow your narcissistic family to try to um, make you feel like you owe them something because you owe nobody anything, okay? And it's almost like they want to keep you. It's like a, it's like they, they have you on the line and they throw you out in the ocean and they reel you in a little bit, reel you in a little bit, reel you in a little bit, and they throw you back out then reel you in a little bit reel you in a little bit like you have to learn to break that okay break it like break all of that don't allow them to diminish your light do not allow them to diminish your light please 
please get away save up money go get far away get far 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 away and find your tribe the universe will back you because the most high of the universe they know they like they know what you're here for and they know that you set this obstacle for yourself prior to you being born into this life you set this obstacle for yourself and once you awaken from it you're unstoppable okay you will be met it will feel like you're like jumping off a cliff but guess what it's going to be that hand right there to catch you you're going to feel like you're falling, but it's going to be that hand there to catch you. And people are going to look at you, look like, how did she do this? How did she do this without us? I can't believe that she thinks, like, they will literally probably, like, your vulnerability is your best asset, okay? They will, they will prey on that. They will prey on, they don't have that. They don't have it, okay? And they wish they did. Like, you need to go out on a limb. It's time to jump. It's time to do something different. It's time to be your true, authentic self. Don't allow anybody to put any labels or anything onto you because none of that holds any weight. It's all false. And please, for all of my black sheep, please, 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 please keep your head up. Know that you're worthy. Know that your family or your friends or whoever, know that they are actually more so of an enemy. And don't take it to heart. Don't take it to heart. I know that's hard to tell my black sheep because we're, we're empaths. So it's hard to tell us don't take that ish to heart because we do. But don't, okay? Don't. Know that you have a greater purpose. Know that you were chosen. And know that they just want your life. That's literally all it is. They just want your life. They don't have it. They don't have it or they did have it and they gave it away or they had it and they let it die. They stopped dreaming. They stopped thinking outside the box and became trapped inside the box. Don't let them diminish your life. All right. I love you people.